Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm Jim Weber with your tropical update. We are right at that peak of the hurricane season tomorrow, September 10th, what is considered the peak of the season. And with that, we we have plenty of activity out there. We've got Paulette, we've got Renee, we've got a couple of areas that we are watching. Good news is about the uh, name system, neither one of them really pose any threat at this point. We're going to watch Paulette to see if it uh, may eventually affect Bermuda. But then we also have that uh, one area low pressure that is heading towards the Carolina coastline may bring some additional rainfall. So here is Tropical Storm Paulette. The one thing you really notice with this is notice the center is actually well south of all the deep convection. It's been dealing with that uh, stronger wind shear. But despite that, winds right now are at 60 miles an hour. It looks like that wind shear will continue to affect it over the next couple of days. Once that lessens, it, it may allow it to uh, maybe get, gather up a little bit more strength as we get into the first part of next week. And that's where we gotta watch if it heads towards Bermuda. Still a long ways off, we'll continue to watch that very, very closely. Now we also have Tropical Storm Renee. This has been back and forth. It's been a tropical storm. It's been a depression, uh, dealing with some strong wind shear. But despite that wind shear, it has managed to uh, keep that intensity, and it looks like over the next couple of days, uh, the wind shear will remain at a low to moderate level, which should allow this to strengthen even more. And this could potentially become a hurricane as we head towards the end of the weekend to the weekend. But you look at the track of this, it's heading out over open waters. So other than that, uh, that is the only named systems. We are really starting to run out of those names uh, on the list for the season. We're gonna keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.